I have a quick one for you today. I'm going to show you how to grab some free icons off of the nounproject.com, bring them into Adobe Illustrator and copy and paste that path into After Effects and how you can take that and apply effects to a vector icon. Let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is navigate to your browser and go to the nounproject.com. I typed in smiley and you'll see that there are many smiley faces you could choose from. I chose to use this one. And what you'll do is click at this icon, click on basic download, click continue and download the SVG file, open up Illustrator, and you're gonna go find the file you just downloaded and open the SVG file. In there, when you highlight over the icon, it will be a vector file. From there, hit Control C to copy it. Once inside of After Effects, click on New Composition. We're gonna hit OK. Inside your comp, you're gonna go get your pen tool and click once on the canvas and it's gonna create this new shape layer. Drop the menu down, hit content, shape, and with shape highlighted, control V to paste. And now it's gonna paste all those paths into masks. And what I wanna do is change these masks into paths inside of After Effects. The way you're gonna do that is go to your shape layer under contents, Hit add, add path, click on that. Open up your path option and you're gonna go down here to mask number one, highlight mask path, control copy, and then hit path and control V. And to show you what that looks like, I'm gonna hit scale, just bring it up, open up those menu items again. So we've got our first mask path copied. I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna open up mask two and it's gonna be the same process. Mask path, hit control X to cut it, add a new path, open it up, click on path, control V. And we're gonna repeat that. Now, once we have all those masks converted into paths, we can now apply some effects to it. So I'm gonna to go to add, add a stroke, I'm going to hit the drop down menu here. I'm going to stroke width. I'm going to put that to one. Click that off. And now I've got my icon inside of After Effects as paths. And I can animate it. I can do whatever I want. If I want to apply a tint to it, I can grab tint, drag and drop it in there, and change the color. There you have it. I hope you found that useful and you learned something. I'll catch you in the next one.